Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Brotops, and welcome back to Elder's Blood. And we've learned a couple of things since we last played. Firstly, banish using banish to get rid of enemies weak causes your hunters to become corrupted. Also, apparently something that we discovered from a little message that came from under here is killing non-essential mon monsters who are not listed in the objective apparently also strengthens the darkness, so I'm not entirely sure what that means, but it probably isn't good. Anywho, let us begin. Mm -hmm. Strangers in the woods. The people of the Rattle are frightened by reports of strange lights and noises in the nearby woods. We need to investigate these occurrences. They could be a sign of greater trouble coming. All right, we're going to change out Divinity for Maxwell Blair, who is a bit less corrupted. Let's go. Uh, the discovery that I've probably been playing this game wrong is not a great one. <laughs> Oh well, these things happen. Okay, strangers in the woods. There is a peculiar scent in the air. Gunpowder? Going. Blood. Human blood. Let's follow the trail. So it leads this way, though, hiding. at the moment we have to wait until that thing goes away, or at least goes to sleep. Alright, Oathmaster is now with us, wind is going that way, and... Okay, you've fallen asleep, and ooh, looky! There's a brawler. Young brawler. And he's just far away enough that I have my can't quite Vanishing. distract him without moving someone in this Go direction. Ahead. Alright, Oathmaster can stay behind. I'm one with the shadows. Here. Vanishing. Vanishing. Alright. So you guys have moved to there and are thus out of harm's way. Wait for the damn banshee tree to sh to go back to sleep before we try running Oathmaster through. They won't see me there. Going. They won't see me there. Okay. Not seeing anything in that area, so gonna move here and see what happens. Ready. Alright, Oathmaster can make a run over here. Okay, so he's with everyone else. So we have to go through here. Alright. Okay, we're seeing some enemies. 
We'll wait a turn. See where they move. Because if we're trying to get the objective done with minimum killing... An excavation site. That explains the lights and sounds, but who was digging all the way out here in the forest, and why? Floater, be careful. Our traps will be no use against her. I'm not... Pick up the strange cloth. I'm not seeing anyone there. Ready. Which is concerning. Risk it. Oh, there's our floating friend. Going in. Cause some ready. Draw some attention that way. They won't see me there. Excuse me. Alright. Both of us can go there if they... It would be better if they don't just walk in the direction that the sense is bit, the wind is blowing. I don't think he knows we're here, but... Actually, we don't need to get both of them. All three of them, we just need to get... You were dead. These two facing that that way. Not sure what that is, but... Okay, yep, yeah, moving away from those bushes, definitely the right move. Moving. Ah, shit. Dead, but you're definitely badly hurt. Okay. Oh, this is bad. And you're stunned too. Woo.
And we can't make enough distance there to actually attack you. Shit. Okay, Earthmaster, we need you to step up to the plate and kill this son of a bitch. Going for a kill. Dead. Bow to the god. Okay. Moving. Gonna wait here for energy to recover. Alright. You did good, Earthmaster, you did good. Let's pick this up. It's a banner of kinds. Maybe Ruth will know more about it. Come, let's get out of here. Evacuate all hunters from the area. Oh, yeah, just over there. Alright. Over here too. Doesn't matter if you're tired, you'll you got here in time. I mean it sucks that we took damage, but eh. It's acceptable. It's an acceptable loss. Mission successful. Alright, fair enough. Okay, level up available for Maxwell. Good, good. Got experience, silver, wonderful. Alright, do, 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 do. camp. Let's see, where is the highest? Maxwell, level 3. Level up. What have we got to learn? Let's see, scavenge got. Hang on. Before we do, what do we have for you? Survivor, lucky, weak to blunt, which isn't great, but eh. Let's see, food scavenged, camp, camp food consumed per hunter. We can increase that to be less. Make it easier for you to load. Make you better at guarding against ambush and scavenging. Yeah, I think we'll go with that one at the moment. Make you a bit better at guarding. For now, anyway. Oh, we also get a new charm slot. Nice. Alright, what... Actually, that's a good question. What actual stuff does the local area have? Let's see, so we are here in the Hollow Woods, so you have... Normal food, plentiful silver, plentiful hunting, no mechanical parts, and normal ritual. Let's see, how much stuff do we have? Alright, if we were to do camping stuff. Let's see, if, you, if you're guarding, that gives us fairly good... We don't have an... Very good, fair, fairly good actual defense against ambushes and stuff. See so you if you rest, and gain your health back. Let's see guarding, scavenging, guarding effectiveness is reduced, which isn't great. All right, let's risk it for the biscuit. We'll wait a day here, gather some supplies, let people heal. Let's see, we're getting plentiful food, so that definitely made up for... Our guards report that a small group of monsters is lurking nearby. We can attack or ignore them. We're gonna ignore them? Simply because fighting monsters is apparently bad. Oh, we also have a few new missions available, so let's... We'll start off with the rattle. Uh, 
And we'll finish this one. And... Find any ghosts? No ghosts, no. It seems to be humans, in fact. Looking for something underground. They were gone when we arrived, but we found this. Mm. More? But what business has that swine rooting around in the forest? You know who this belongs to? Everyone knows Camille... Cornelius Moore, at least in the city. He's a banker, fat, rich, and a member of the ruling council of the city. Where can I find him? <gasps> Did you mishear me, Hunter, or are you simply deaf? The ruling council is inaccessible to one such as yourself. Do you think Cornelius Moore, Minister of the Coin, will meet with an exile impulsively? You need connections. Someone close to him. Someone like me. Ruth, are you sure about this? I don't think you'll be happy after the way you left things. Yeah. Quiet, Duke. You don't know the half of that story. I have the oath wrapped around my finger in ways that neither of you could understand. <laughs> Excuse me, but I don't think I follow. Of course you don't. Cornelius and I were engaged once, a long time ago, back when I was... Mm -hmm. young and fair. Huh. You may think me frail, boy, but unless you want a split lip and a red cheek, you'd better mind your manners. I'll arrange a meeting with Cornelius. Meet me at the market in two days. In the meantime, you can help the villagers. There are some other tasks need doing about town. Let them know that there are no ghosts down the wood first. woods first. Alright, see you in two days. Maybe staying out here, here wasn't such a bad idea after all. There are signs of tampering in the wilds, unusual mischief in the great, from the great houses, and Duke is gaining more trust in his new abilities. This is no simple hunting contract we're chasing, and we'll need Duke's help in whatever capacity he's prepared to offer. Now I hear White has arrived on horseback without warning. It must have been a dare, dare wind that drove him from the safety of his research camp. I should find him and hear his news at once. Alright. Wait two days. Go to market. Talk to Marine White. Welcome. Duke! Chief! My friend. Is that Marine White? It is good to hear your voice, old friend. Greetings, friend. Hmm? Something happened then, no? It is strange. I think I... Hmm. Feel it? Felt it? Strange indeed. Yes, Duke, something big. I'm starting to think that your journey to the Crown was not entirely in vain, but we'll talk about that later. What is it, then? Ashmore is on the move. The General gathered his troops. At least 5,000 men. This, they've set out into the wilds. What's the problem? That's exactly what they should be doing. Exactly what we do, keeping the beasts in check. Yes. You are correct, but these men are not hunters. They know not what they are dealing with. And perhaps neither do we. I fear that the threat of the wilds has shifted dramatically. Amplified. Nonsense, Duke. Help me explain. The darkness. The darkness is waking. What now? Yes. Yes. Our father seems to be waking from his slumber. The beasts will grow in number, don't you see? All of these unnecessary deaths will only serve to strengthen its hold. The darkness will march through them unimpe unimpeded, scales tipping in its favor. So as mankind falls, the balance shifts? Yes, you could put it that way. This is not the first time that humanity finds itself in su such sudden peril, but this time... This time we simply do not possess the strength to resist. Even these 5,000 soldiers won't be enough to withstand the coming storm. Listen. I can talk to him. Who? The general? Yes. Yes, I have known Ulysses since the war. He was still only a sergeant back then, but he was able to see past my exile's blood. We became friends. He knows that we are not a threat to him or the city. If anyone out there would listen to the word of a hunter, it's Olysseus Ashmore. Alrighty. So if we were to travel to here... Not sure how many days this would take, but... We have some things we can focus on. Let's see, the once an abandoned encampment zone of the once great house Barsa, legendary protector of the city. Currently occupied by House Ashmain soldiers, it acts as the city's southernmost foothold against the dark and fawny wilds. Oh, it'll take five days? No, forget that. Favor for a favor. Yeah, we'll 
tell you what, we'll start by going to the inn. Because we can gather food and all that there. Do you have a moment, Chief? More beasts on the road? Not this time. Fortunately, I suppose. No, I'm having trouble with some of my suppliers. Do you know a place called Rattle? A small village southeast of here. I know the place. We visited not long ago. We have some fine fields here around the inn, but the plains aren't exactly ideal for farming. Too much open space. The city was never interested in helping us develop gardens, and we never had enough men to guard the land besides. It's much easier if we simply buy our food from the villagers. So what happened? Did they stop sending supplies? That's what it seems. After the recent crisis, there's a lot of work to do around here. I can't spare any of my boys to go investigate. Maybe you could help us? I'll see what I can do. But last we were there, all the villagers holed up inside their houses, whispering rumors that the ghosts of a vengeful hunter hunt haunted the woods nearby. Were they right? No? Right, sorry. Um, try to look for Charles. You know him. He's not like the others. He's at least traveled to other villages. I know it's nothing compared to your journeys, but believe me, among the villagers, he is something of a legend. I shall look for Charles, then. Alright. Guess we're going back to the freaking rattle. Oh, we can also get letter in invitation, too. Man, we're already here, so... Every door and window in the rattle is shut tight, just as we left them. Perhaps Ruth's explanation for the phenomenon in the woods was unconvincing. After a minute of searching for a more diplomatic route, we decided to be about our business. We are screaming Charles' names through the, the streets. Oh, please, please don't take me away, spirit. Calm down, boy. We are no spirits, we are hunters. Cora sent us to find out what happened with the missing shipment of food. P oh. It's you, Chief. A shipment. Food? Yes, for the King's Rest Inn. Coral sent you? The provisions I. We were supposed to send them off some time ago, but the ghost... Damn it, boy, there is no ghost. We searched the woods. It was only city folk digging around looking for heirlooms. I know, Master Hunter. Ruth told us. So why do you still sprout this nonsense? Because people are still disappearing. What do you mean? It started a week before you first arrived. First some old folk, but that would be no surprise. It's the way of life here, you see. When the elderly wish to no longer burden their families, they make a final journey and wander into the forest to gather wood, or hunt, never to return. But then some young folk went missing besides. The elders told us about the ghost, and then you came, and it got even worse. How are we supposed to send any food when all who venture you under disappear? Calm down, try and concentrate, tell us. Can you recall where any of these people were headed? They were making for the Shriv, as much as I know. The best wood grows there, and we use it for our wind chimes. Okay. Master Hunters. And letter of invitation. Master Hunter, a letter for you. Thank you, Charles. Dear Hunter, House Blackwell extends a cordial invitation for you to come and visit the Tower of Love. The map attached to this letter will lead you to the grounds. Our noble house has an opportunity with which to present thee. And we do hope that you shall consider it carefully, forever watching House Blackwall. Well. Anything important, Chief? Perhaps. It's an invitation. An invitation? Ha! <laughs> Apologies, Chief, but who would wish to have you at any event? House Blackwell, apparently. Mm -hmm. The Blackwells. You should be careful, they are an old house. They will likely be even more arrogant and political than the others we've met. Are we not in need of allies? Allies, yes, not masters. Look, I'm not suggesting we decline, but stay vigilant. We know not their true intentions. Okay. Let's see, where's... Th there's the Tower of Love. There's the Shriv. It sounds silly, but perhaps there is some integrity to these ghost stories. Obviously, there is something haunting the people of the Rattle. That is, that is true. The only question is what. We hope to find out the Shriv. Let's see what we got here. Plentiful food, plentiful silver, plentiful hunting materials, no mechanical, and ritual agreements. Alright, let's try it out. Let's move. Ghost hunt. 
It sounds silly, but perhaps there is some integrity to these ghost stories. Obviously there is something hun- yeah, we've read this already. So who are we s Yeah, this seems like a pretty good team. Let's go killing. Blood and cloth, probably a villager. Come, let's follow the trail. So there it is, but we've got shriekers. Going for a kill. Going. there and kind of distracted so vanishing a monster all right there's the bloody you have my attention there's our banshee tree going Ah, oh, shit. Chief. I go in. Okay, this is bad. They saw us, and we're going to just run and hope like hell. Hopefully here we put enough distance between us and them that they're not going to just spot us right away. I don't think she saw us. I don't think she's seen us. The float that float has seen us. And that's not a young one either. That's like a proper. That's a proper bastard. Going in. Moving. There it is, a floater and a rather old one. I'd wager this must be the ghost the village is fixated on. Okay, we have to kill the floater. They won't see me there. Right, we can work with that. I'm running in the shadows. I see some darkness there. Ready. They won't see me there. Alright, so two banshee trees, we've got another young brawler. And we've got the ghost up there. As long as the wind doesn't drastically change, which considering we're not in a storm or anything, is unlikely. So let's see if I come spawn of darkness. Oh shit. Be gone. Damage resisted. An emery just resisted your attack. Every beast in the cradle has its own weaknesses and resistances. These can be viewed any time in the campaign or by analyzing beasts directly with the hunter's sixth sense ability. When an attack damage type is resisted, all incoming damage of that type is completely nullified. Completely nullified. Other side effects of the attack, such as stamina reduction or status effects, will be inflicted as normal. 
Let's see, if the attack inflicts multiple damage types, only the resisted damage can be nullified. Any damage type... Let's see, floater. Darkness activity is weak. That's fine. What can... Floater. Status. Searching. Resistances. Weak. See, it's got bleed as an effect, which is good, but... What the hell is... Every hunter has a sixth sense that humankind does not possess. It allows hunters to feel the presence of nearby monsters, even when they can't visually detect them. Unseen monsters located by a monster's sixth sense will be shown as shadowy shapes. Pinpointing their exact movements and yada yada. Okay, so Banshee Tree has seen us. Be there in a moment. Alright, this one I'm banishing. I know it's bad, but we need to kill this thing fast. <laughs> the creature is gone. Let's get out of here. Yeah, we need a quick kill. And I'm pretty sure it would resist a lot of the damage we can do to it. Alright, two levels up from Oathmaster and Ethan. Nice. Camp. Oathmaster, level you up. What, what have you got so f You're lucky. So in your case, if we go... Oh, in this case we'll go with Survivor. Just having to spend less food to get the whole... Get everyone going is just good business. See, so licking wounds, survivor luckless, and Let's see what is. All right. Nope, we're not not sure what, not sacrificing that. That would be bad. All right, and we'll give you the rat so that you have an easier time finding when we. Send you out to find bloody f sca to scavenge. You'll be fine. See, you can rest up. You're guarding. Accent chance is low. Earthmaster, you can help. Prevents accidents and ambushes. Oh, we don't consume any food because of. Let's pass some time. Okay, so we got some food, silver, hunting materials, all that fun stuff. Nice. And embark. Yeah. Yeah, it's two days, but stuff it, we'll get this out of the way. Did, did you find the ghost? Yes, Charles. The ghost is unmade. You've no need to worry anymore. Can we expect our provisions shipped to the inn now? Y yes, of course. And wait a second, please. Here, award for your help. Thank you, Charles. Take care. Yeah, they gave us a fair chunk of food. Nice. And we might as well just go and visit the inn. Finish up work here. Oh, Chief, it's good you're back. Did you manage to persuade the supply dilemma in our favor? Yes, they had an urgent distraction, but the caravans will return regularly again before long. Oh, thank you, you are a lifesaver, but what was the issue? Why the urgency? A particular nasty beast haunting the village. Some folks died, but we managed to slaughter the monster in the end. And Charles, did he...? He's fine, don't worry. That was a great help, in fact. Heavens, all right, good. That's good to hear. Here, Hunter, take this. Remember, young Cora's always got work for strong arms, and I always pay my debts. You want more where that came from? You know where to come find me. Understood? Of course. And they gave us money. All right, we could buy food. We could buy... med kits and all that fun stuff. Um, no, I think we're good for now. So we've got about three pla- we got a few places. First things first though, I'm 
going to visit the crown real quick. Why I'm doing this is I think we're going to swap someone out. Because if I recall, we have people here. Okay. Let's have a look at the at base. We can bring you back. Divinity, I think we can, can rest here for a bit. I'm just going to quickly check... Oh, whoops. Nope. Not the right thing. Here we go. Your thing's still rising. Damn. Damn, damn. Oh, well. <laughs> we tried. Apparently... Apparently we can't just deal with stuff the old-fashioned way. Alright, Cavern of Whispers. Low food and everything else is unavailable, but... Eh, we'll get here, we'll do stuff. And we'll quickly check the shop, actually. See, Hunter's Great Blade. Ooh, not bad food. Blueprints, let's see. Phantom Blades. Lullaby, a fragile flask filled with a sedative substance. Not bad. Hunting Blade and Wild Charm. Blueprints for them. Nice. Not gonna lie. No, we'll buy that. Oh, we can't get Lullaby as well. I grab the Phantom Blades. And we'll grab the Hunting Blade as well. Okay. Transaction. We've spent all of our money. Let's just have a quick look at our camp. Alright, so if we... Alright, we can get away with not... having people... We can get away with a, a little bit. With not having people on watch. Alright, to do, do, do. Hang on. Crafting weapon. Let's have a quick look. Hunter's Great Blade. Alright. Can we. Yep, we can craft you. See, charms. What do we got? Trade. Holy item. Oh. Corrupt, lowers corruption, not bad. Hangman, extra item. Hunter's Charm, smell range, not bad. Health, stamina, vision, and movement. And we'll come back to you. Phantom Blades, deal slashing from afar. Fo Tell you what, we'll focus. Hang on. Who can we get away with? Crafting, crafting, you're recovering. Tell you what, we'll go for three crafters to get more points towards it. Let's have a look, see. Yeah, that's still two days, but... Alright. Tell you what, we'll do it. If nothing else, it allows us to heal up a bit, so... Greater's... Greater's Hunting Blade. Who are we gonna give this one to? Wait, no. Damn it. Equipment. Let's see, health is up. You've... You can have a few charms, actually, Oathmaster. But first, we're gonna give you Hunter's... Great Blade, and Hunter's Knife as a secondary. Alright, this will be ready tomorrow. Can we... Hang on. Camping tasks. We can have few Maxwell helping crafting as well. So charms, if we... Throw another one. 
Okay, that would be two t two charms tomorrow. Quick thing, we'll get this done. Two black tongues. Right here. So firstly, we'll give you one of the black tongues. So that's going to lower the amount of corruption you're getting. Maxwell... Can't do anything with you, Hugo. Not yet. But we can do with you. Alright, Heritage. I know you don't like me, Chief, but I really am on your side. And I'm ready to prove it to you. How, exactly? Dear Hunter, you have forgotten much of your past. My gift to you will be your heritage, your history. Doesn't sound very interesting. I suggest you see for yourself before you decide. We don't have to work together forever, but you may find the new knowledge very interesting indeed. Alright, I'm listening. The Exile's Wastes was a place you once thrived, in a different time, a more peaceful time. Before the first wave hit, humans and hunters lived together symbiolic symbiolically in harmony. You may find some ancient relics of that time, lost there among the wastes. The past is the past, why should I toil over some old trinkets? Because they hold power. I can teach you to wield it if you bring one to me. Alright, assuming I were interested, where exactly should I look? The wastes are vast. Give me your map, I'll show you. Now on the nature of the relics themselves, I know very little, but you should feel something primal when you find one. It will be unmistakable. We'll see. Alrighty. So we know the Exile's Wastes there, but we're closer to the encampment, so we might as well go visit. Meet one of the actual factions. We smelled the Ashmore's camp before we saw it. The, not, the might of a city behind 5,000 men. Countless guns, hulking artillery, wagons of steel traps and barbed wire. But little heart, the men were quiet, and the stench of fear hung stronger than that of the latrines. Stop. Oi, you, Hunter, stop right there. Hail, brave soldier. Worry not, I am a friend of the general, and I need only speak with him. I know who you are. It's Duke, right? Yes. Yes, but how? Yes. We served together during the war. If you want to speak with a general, now is not the right time. Believe me. Something happened? The general's son led a squad on patrol into the woods some time ago, but they disappeared and have not returned. The general is furious, ordering scouts north and south. But they haven't found them yet. Maybe you could help, Duke? You were once a great scout, I recall- I remember. No. My own hunting days are over, but I'm not alone. If this is the quickest way to meet with Ashmore, my friends will track down the Lost Company. This patrol, where were they there. headed? To the moon's eye, our goal was to create a perimeter deeper in the forest. They hoped to find a good defensible position there. Duke, stay here, or we'll turn with the news before long. Alright. Embark. Just remembering any... There's low food here, so that we could probably survive, but... Not a whole lot else. Alright. Nothing else. We got pl we got food. We can look. We can scavenge food from here from Moon's Eye before we go traveling again. Lost company. A squad of Ashmore soldiers have gone missing in the woods, including his own son. Before we can think about talking any sense in the general, we're gonna have to find his boy. All right. Yeah, this is a solid team. Let's go. The darkness can alt dramatically alter weather conditions on the battlefield. Current weather conditions are represented by an icon on the top left corner of the screen. Alright. Something to worry about later. There are deep groves in the dirt here. Maybe a cannon? Let's go. Alright.
Looks like we found our lost boys. Seems they were ambushed. Keep clear of the beast and search the bodies. We're looking for an officer. Alright. We can move people up. To also have a look around to see if we can spot anything moving. Here. Hiding. Nothing major. But nothing yet, anyway. Be gone. Moving spawn of darkness. Oh, what a float a floater and another shrieker. Woo. Okay, we searched that dead soldier, then let's pull the flip out. Ew, there's more of the bastards. Ready. Alright, Earthmaster, you can go forward a bit. We'll go for this one next once the little vulture like bastards have wandered off. Alright. Those two are in a very awkward position for us. Going for a kill. Going in. All right. Distract that. Well, that's not good. We can't actually go around to the, that area, so we have to wait for them to move. Oh crap, that... That was a mistake. That was a misclick. Woo. Alright, I can't get up to those bushes there. I can hide here though, but but I do need to move. You have my attention. Going in. We're gonna we're just gonna move here and a little bit further back, just for the sole purpose of we're gonna try and bloody wait for the shit to calm down. This is workable. 
we are not in a... If nothing else, being accidentally spotted has got them away from the body that we were after. You've distracted them. Going for a kill. We'll have you. We'll trick you to looking the other way. Going. Going. He's not here. Let's keep pushing forward, and we'll hide you here. Gonna have to wait until they move. Which thankfully we're gonna be able to get away with. Because being detected isn't a immediate game over, it's just... If they detect us and we're still in the area when they go to investigate. Dodge. Here. They won't see me there. Ew. Okay, we found a banshee tree. Hiding. And a brawler. In front of what appears to be our target. Okay, they've caught a whiff of something, but they haven't detected where we are now. Okay, you can stay there. Because you're in a good spot, we don't want to move you. My duty calls. Like a wind. Okay, Ethan can hide there. We're gonna go hide up here. Right yeah. So the plan is we're gonna wait for the watcher to fall asleep. Like that. Beats are lurking that way. That float is gonna probably gonna be a problem, but we shall deal with it. They seem to be watching the mouth of the, that cave. Maybe some survivors managed to escape there. Vanishing. Kill the monsters guarding the cave. There's two of them. So these two. You have my attention. They won't see me there. Alright, we'll get everyone up.
out of Well, we'll get everybody caught up, if nothing else. Let's see, if we wake you up briefly, will you just go back to sleep on this turn? Yes. Okay. Progress, 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 progress. Wait, hang on. Equip the parry blade. Wait, we can't backstab it from that direction. The wind's going against us. Curses. We got the brawler down, which is something. Hiding. Chief. Okay. I'm pretty sure we're about to get that floater. Is that floater is about to be a problem? Do what we can. Okay, the Shriek is an idiot. Or we're just really good at hiding. Either or. Chief. Maxwell. See two bleeding, so you're not gonna die annoyingly. But this will kill you. My duty calls. Get back to the shadows. You have my attention. See that you cost. Right, so we're gonna hide here, then we're gonna deal with... Ah, shit. Hunters will lose all, who will lose all their hit points during a mission will not immediately die, instead they will enter a waning state which, in which they may yet be rescued. A waning character cannot be activated and a counter above their head displays the number of turns remaining until they fully bleed out and die. To revive one, move a hunter to another adjacent node and click on a fallen ally. The, this action costs no stamina and can be formed freely by any hunter. A hunter who can a, hunt, a hunter can only enter the waning state twice during a mission. If they drop below H zero HP a third time, they will die immediately. Okay, so you're in trouble. Get back up, Ethan. Oh, yep. Going for a kill. <laughs> One more kill. All right, she's dead. You have my attention. You're stunned for a bloody turn. We do not have enough stamina for this. Okay, waning again. I think we can get away with that, though. 
because now we've got two hunters up on their feet. Going in. Again, you are dead. Here, and finish him. Damn, didn't quite finish you off, but Okay, thing to learn from all this. Do not get into a full-on fight with these things. One more kill. Everyone rally here, we found them. Okay, mission successful. Nice. That could have gone better, not gonna lie. In hindsight, I should have finished off the, fl the young floater before we tried hiding, but... Oh well, these things happen. The men are battered, broken, they are completely unprepared for their foe, and paid the price. Young Ashmore is wounded, gently shaking through a fever of dream. Barely breathing, he won't survive the trip back to camp. His men say it was him who managed to round up the soldiers and retreat into hiding. He saved as many as he could. I'm afraid his sacrifice won't be the last we see. Oh. Oh well. <laughs> Alright, camp. Wait. What are the chances of stuff? Let's see... No chance of accident, no chan- Oh, ambush chance is high, though. So let's see, who's... Okay, if we put you... You both to guarding, you can rest, because you need it. And we have room for crafting, so who are we going to craft? Um, let's have a look-see. Well, ammo dependent, heavy weapon. Without making a sound, though, it's a silent weapon. Well, it's sure, but not completely quiet. Hmm. You know what? Oh, we get rid of that harpoon we can't afford to make. Alrighty. Um, do do do. Oh, we can literally make poison knives. Okay, and you know what? I'll also gr poison knife and a phantom blade. Why not? We can equip people with them. Yeah, Ethan took a hit from that, but he's alive. And we can wait a day. Okay, coded. Curses, we've been ambushed. Shit. Alright, Ethan, can we change you out? Yes, we can. We've been ambushed to arms. Radio. Okay, they will be instantly eliminated, but the hunter will take on a degree of corruption. Yep. Noted. Damn it, I thought we were good. But apparently not. Alright. So you'll... You are dead. Alright, we'll deal with this first and foremost. Oh wait, you, you'll still see us, annoyingly, but... You won't. Curses. Oh. Jeez. Well, shit. Well, this is annoying. You are dead. Chief. Going in. Okay, you can extract you. You are dead. It was nothing. 
And you're dead. Ready when you are, Chief. Alrighty. Damn. Annoyingly was spotted, but that's fine. They honestly probably knew we were there already, so... Wait, why did we lose so much? Moving. Moving. Oh. Shit, that's a, that's only a self thing. Radio Noted. Kill you. You were dead. Just straight up. Fortunately, we can't do anything with these guys for the turn. Chief. And apparently, now you're knocked out too. Woo. Chief. All right, we just need to kill one more enemy. Okay, Hugo, you can eat that. Here comes the pain. This one's for you, Chief. And we survive. It happens. What else? Everyone leveled up from it, which is good, but we took a bit of a bit battering. Uh, also corruption. See, rise. Okay, how can we le level you up? Yeah, you can eat less food for starters, that will help. Oathmaster, what do we got here? Less food, licking wounds, hunting material. Actually, hang on. Which one do you have? Survivor and Lucky. Yeah, we can give you self-defense. Go ahead. And... Let's see. Do, do, do. Yeah, we can... Self-defense, Lucky. Yeah, we can licking wounds. You'll recover quicker. Nice. Alright, how are we going to... You need to recover... You need to... Pretty much everyone goddamn needs to recover. But tell you what, we'll worry about that once we actually get somewhere relatively safe. Yep. Like, there's still, we can still gather food here, so there is an option. Did you find the boy? Did you find the boy? Dead, but he died a man, not a boy. This may complicate things. I'm afraid it will. Did you manage to meet with the general? No. No, but I listened to the men. The camp is unsettled. They are not only afraid of what's in the wilds, they fear the general himself. They don't trust his leadership. Chief. They think this whole endeavor to be the final selfish act of an old man making his mark on the world. Chief, I fear that Eusilus may not be the same man I knew during the war. Are we out of options then? Given the state of the morale, perhaps they will mutiny. No. No, Eusilus is no fool. He bought some sort of charity func faction with him. Soldiers call themselves leaves and hold them in high regard. They seem to be the final threads holding the camp together. The boys are nearing with the casket. Come, we should join them. My son. My son, bring him to my tent. We 
Duke, what are you doing here? Was it you who found that bo who found my boy? No. no, my friend. It was this gentleman here, but I am terribly sorry for your loss. Thank you. Thank you, Duke. We should talk soon, but now is no time for discussion. I have a son to bury. If you still wish to speak, find me later. It is always hard to see young men die. It is harder still to see their parents mourning. Will the sacrifice of that brave lad amount to anything? Will any of our sacrifices amount to anything? If we are here to protect them, it is hunters who should die here, not these boys. This world is given to madness. Alright, we can buy stuff from here. Double barrel shotgun, spike trap, soldier's charm, and of course food and all that. Admittedly, we can't buy anything because we bloody spent it all, but... Okay, so we can have you scavenge for some basic food. We can let the other guys rest up and regain some of their health. Save scavenge eight food. Yeah, one more. Oh, I had someone at full health. Didn't realize. Oh well. Everyone's now more or less at full, and we can push forward. Thankfully, we're not consuming any food, so that helps. Though I think I might, just for the sake of it, scavenge as much food as we as we can for a day before we make our trip to any... because we're a fair distance away from anything. If the moral has... Hail Duke and you are... If the moral was low last time we were here, it's at hit rock bottom since. Ashmore needs to get his men out of here, or there will be deaths. A good many deaths. Duke thinks he can talk some sense into this war chief he used to call friend. I remain unconvinced. Oh. We unlocked the thing. But I think that can wait until next time. Until then, my name is Brightops, and I look forward to hearing from you. Take care.